So um, my prosperity inside, prosperity outside, little poem I wrote, you can find it like on uh, WhatsApp or Facebook, it's on somewhere on social media. But um, just to put it into an audio form so you can understand it a little bit better. Um, pretty much, I've been on a, an inward seeking journey looking for my own self within my own self. And um, I've noticed that right now in my life, my goals are not lined up with the society's goals. So it puts me in a caliber of my own with myself. So like, if I'm trying to see certain results out of my own effort and I'm not, then like I ask a question, why? Like, why am I not getting, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to be doing. Like, so I'm trying to figure out where I don't line up within myself. So, um, but um, in the process, it's important to know what I'm using to define where I'm at with where I'm going. Like, what define, what's the measuring stick, I guess you could say, in this case. But, um, so, I mean, in the poem, I kind of, like, said it. I mean, don't get caught up to, wait, don't get caught up trying to acquire money so much so that you forget the quality of person you could become. Comprehend that if you're a person of impeccable quality, money would be guaranteed. Quality in, quality out. And the reason why that is, or the reason why I think that is, is because it would be very difficult for for a, hmm, let's say a clean person, not clean in the sense like someone else is dirty, but someone who is particularly clean will walk into a room which in that room is not as clean as the rooms that they are normally in dominion of, like their home. So, and you might notice like this person might not be able to control the way they deliver the message about whatever it is that they understand or now understand or that they just learned because they just walked in. Like, what is this? Why are you going to have no trash thrown out? What? I mean, the person is going to know like this is less than what I give myself. Why are you giving this to yourself? But it's not necessarily, you know, it doesn't have to really be about clean. It's more about the idea of quality in one's eyes. And um, I'm not too particular about what others say first because I believe it's really important to have your own thoughts and allow other people's thoughts to either support yours or not. And, um... I mean, it's always good to learn new thoughts, but I don't, I don't really look to what others tell me first. I kind of look for myself first. I measure against what other people have said. I make my own just decisions. Yeah. So um, I'm back to the story. I mean, the poem. A well furnished, a well furnished response can resemble a well furnished home, and I mean that kind of like tickles the little clean thing I just said. But I wrote that in the idea that. A quality person, a person of quality, would make sure that they try their best to communicate the most accurate, the most accurate, um, I guess, response, and not a response that could have been tight, tightened up. So they would probably want to say exactly what they feel, and that that resembles the quality control with words and emotion. And here we are again. Those are only inward qualities. Those are qualities that you don't see. So the quality that you do create inside normally would manifest outward. It just seems to be like that. Um, so like you have the chance every single day, every single day, to redefine what you have inside. To redefine it. Meaning that once you understand what you can put out based on what comes in, you can control. And once you control, you find yourself not getting upset too often, not taking things the wrong way, not taking things too personally. Like, life is way too short to, to become stressed in a moment of miscommunication. So, um, and I'm just on this journey right now. And, uh, oh yeah, so just, just by looking out from a positive perspective. And a positive perspective, let's go back to the lady who walks into her friend's house, which is really trashed. Um... I mean, there's so many ways you can say that. It's all about how, how in-depth you want to be with your own self. Like, you can just be kind and say, uh, do you need help cleaning up? <laughs> I mean, that'd be really off, the first thing you say. But if it's that bad, like, it's that bad, let's go. Like, let's clean this up right now. <laughs> 
But um, yeah. So yeah. So prosperity inside, prosperity outside. So like to wrap it all up, the same way we can find those qualities of cleanliness or patience inward, prosperity is also inward. Prosperity outward looks like you have a lot of stuff. It looks like, oh, cars, clothes, oh, money, like prosperity, food, dominion, like abundance, just having. It doesn't talk about the perspective of not having. But from within, if you're able to be prosperous, it would be a lot easier for you to see prosperity in your life. So not being petty about little things. Oh, it's going to be $2 extra. Like you need to find the $2 in your heart and match it with your wallet first. You get what I mean? You have to tell yourself that you have. It's a lot to do with how you see yourself, how you talk to yourself. There's a lot going on with that. But um, I thought this poem was a little, well, a little way to say it. So um, if you enjoyed it, if it was kind of cool, if it resonated with you, let me know. Send me a message, send me a comment, and um, we'll continue. Thanks for listening.